if it comes out. I was thinking here you come up. Right? Go ahead, go, go, go. And then. Yeah, so if you do that, you can just come in here. Right into my escape. What's your escape? Get the head. <laughs> Rub it like this. Just right over into it. I'm gonna get this wrong, but I can show you what the uh, the general gist of this was. This wasn't the setup that this guy used, but he was here in this inside, right? And so instead of coming here on the on the um, on the ankle on the heel, he just locked his legs and just started pushing the knee or the foot up. Yeah. So he just he just took his hand and just, I'm not going to do it to you, but just like pushed it up and sat up and then you can see his hips are locked. He couldn't rotate his hips out. And so instead of like messing around in here with the heel hook, it's just kind of like a gross action push. Um, um, but yeah, that's pretty nasty. That's gross. Just sit back here and then just start pushing as much as you can. <laughs> Even here. Yeah. This is pretty good. This, this one, this one let the out. We'll lock the first one. Yeah. This is a lock when Giles is, so he kind of teaches us. Really? Yeah, he teaches us to keep the, to get the, either to keep the knee from uh, escaping the, but you see, I mean, if you watch Gary or, you know, Nikki, like, you know, they all do this too. It's not a secret. Yeah. But it is a nice control. Um, you know, when those legs are in there. So the person can't rotate or get that knee out. So if my knee, see my goal here, I don't know if you guys can see this, but my knee's here, it's inside of his knee line, right? So I want to bring this out. So if he doesn't do anything and I can get my leg past, you can see I can rotate because my leg is straight. Even if he has a heel hook on sometimes, you can just, you can like have a straight leg and then you can rotate out. And if my knee comes up or goes down rather, you know, now I'm gonna go out. But even here, look, if Kevin just pushes my foot, yes, he just pulls it or push it up. Oh. You know, so if I'm here, go back for a sec. Uh -huh. So if I'm, sorry, if, look at my knee, my knee's out now. Uh -huh. So if Kevin just pushes my foot up, push it up, yeah. So now, yeah, I can't get out. So you can pull it back in now. Oh, I'm not gonna get out, right? And now it's in perfect position because he's got the old exposure too. I also like, if I, have the availability, right? Or I don't have my hands free instead of pushing down, I'll just try to get my ribs. Oh, you can, you can kind of uh, wedge it with your body. Yeah. Yeah, that's just pretty cool too. Because if I'm here and with no control, then they it's stay, easy. They get out. Yeah. But if I can get this, and it's like, great, I'm going to Yeah, there's sure. no way. It's just like with a Kimura, where you're like, you want to pull down on the wrist to control the elbow. Same thing, right? We pull, push down here, that'll bring this up into play. All right, so this is really nice. Or something up in here. Yeah. Let me capture that knee. Yeah, once the, the, that leg is bent, once my knee is bent, this becomes a very sharp angle. Oof. Yeah. Oh, oh. I got tight real quick. I got real quick. I've been working on, like, really pulling yeah. the toes up as high as I can and setting it tight so yeah. that there's no slack when I start. Yeah, the one I wanted to start off with was the entry from half guard, because, all right, well, I'll explain. Uh, let's just start first from uh, you standing, and we'll show the primary movement. All right, so let's say we get our single leg X here. Oh my God, that's bad. All right, so from here to go to the knee bar, right, we're, we need a mechanism of action to get our hips to turn around. All right, so that's gonna, our anchor is gonna be here, right? I'm gonna pull this leg, up and over and use this connection to rotate my hips and kind of guide, guide my hips where they need to be. Right? I'm looking to get my hips right above the knee, 
right? And I want to be able to press into it, right? But to do that, I need this little underhook thing, right? Because that um, gives me my connection here to rotate myself around, right? So, however, going from like this guillotine style, and we'll call it, um, to coming under here can be very difficult, right? It's just like sometimes it can be hard to find the space, and it's like, you know, a whole step to get this here, right? So it's not always what I tend to go to when we're in the standing position. However, right, if we're in our half right here, right, where we're playing our frame game and I can get a nice gable grip here, right, and if I'm able to uh, push them into single leg X bit pretty much, I'm, uh, I end up with this nice, what do you want to call this? Not another one. But yeah, it's like, an, it's like a scoop grip. A scoop grip, right? Which is going to be the same thing, but now I don't have to take the time to like get it in from here, right? Because it could be very annoying, right? But same basic movement, right? I want to be able to get this leg across, and then I'm going to use my knee connection on his hip to turn my hips up and over. And then I want to be able to bite onto his butt here so that I can drive my hips in here. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so if you see, Kevin's not trying to like pull my whole body or even move. It's like a pretty small movement, mm -hmm. right? So when you go back, right? I mean, as he gets that scoop, he, this leg is here, so I can't like, you know, kind of close the yeah, space. So this is his frame right here. Frame too. And then what he's doing is he's bringing his, his scooping his hips underneath. So that's, that's actually going to put my weight this way. Right, so instead of like trying to like lift my leg all the way over, right? So that's what happens, right? People try to pull with their arms, and then this is that's kind of what happens. Or even if you just hear, you just pull. Kevin's arms are not that strong. I mean, he's strong, but he's not. That, well, maybe he could do it if he really wanted to. But it's just easier. This but way. look, instead, look at what he does. He put you put your foot on the ground, or oh, boom, and then he just scoops his hip. Go back and do that again. And what helps a lot is this knee pushing him away. So I push, and that, yeah. in combination with just the little ice cream scoop hips, gets us here. Right. Then just gonna get this out, and I can set up my knee bar. Ooh. How's this? It's a lot. Is the person will either push your foot down and then back step on you, right? So here, and then they, yeah, and then you're again you have that reverse knee on belly. So when I'm in here, you know, from here, I'll try to push. Say or let them come up, right? So they'll almost always fight and come back up. So as they come back up, you switch, mm -hmm. right? That's, so and then you can go right here, or you can just hold, right? Sometimes if you do this and you turn them, like they, they kind of like, no, yes. So that's you go into your, you can go into all your your bear traps. Yeah, whatever or bear traps, or you can just go right into the guys. You know these uh, knee bars and toe holds and what have you. Um, but I like this from single leg X because when they draw, when they push this down and back step, right, and you back step, <laughs> you can still go into the knee bar. Here, right? Yes. And then you can come right back over, right? Here. And then you can start pulling. This is the classic right here. You can get your knee out. <laughs> and I'm just gonna hold it with my uh, with my forearm here. Going deeper into this will help me somehow. Just gonna keep driving. All right, that's fine. Yeah, I'll see. Like if you're way far, I mean, I feel like I'm gonna get the momentum to come up on this underhook. Mm -hmm. So it's usually when they're a little bit like set closer and I'm like battling in this uh, area. So it's like maybe they're going for a cross yeah, face, they're, they're pressuring they're like way definitely forward. coming in and then I can start building frames. And, That's really nice. And scooping in. But it's then, simple, but it's nice. And if they like bail out, right, then like if you kind of back away here, um, this is my opportunity to go up into this panda guard yeah. stuff, right? But if you're still, like coming into me, this knee frame's really nice, and there hasn't been a, a person yet that I can't do this to. Yeah, this is